Welcome to another episode of Snack and a Movie. I have the very handsome Evan Martin standing here, or sitting here rather. Now, this is a really special Snack and a Movie because for the next three episodes, you are going to see a mini series called Jenny and Jeff. And Evan, you play Jeff. So who is I Jeff? <laughs> Jeff is a, he's very confused. He's very lost in what he wants in his love life and just in general. Um, the first episode is about the introduction of the sort of getting to know Jenny, getting to know Jeff, and how they're going to be intertwined within the two next episodes following. Wow, and it was all shot locally, correct? Yeah, local businesses, local companies all gave their support, and we're very thankful for that. So is this the first starring role for you? Yeah, this is my first on-camera role. Um, it was very nerve-wracking, <laughs> but I, uh, I settled in quickly and I had a lot of fun. And uh, I guess a lot of friendships were made on the set too? How oh yeah. Things go? Um, well, I actually, uh, I knew my co-star Cass, who plays Jenny, uh, beforehand. So that was um, a good chemistry just to start off with. But yeah, we're all great friends and we're all close. And uh, we uh, went to Vancouver recently and we bonded through that too. Oh, nice. So how did you get into acting, Evan? Uh, funny story, I just kind of, in my first year uni university, I took theater, and I didn't know why I took theater <laughs> until I took theater, then I realized I loved it, um, so that's kind of how I got into acting. I didn't do anything in high school or anything like that. So, no actors in the family line? Um, well, my dad's a painter. He's a very um, well-known artist, and uh, oh, okay. so I guess mm -hmm. in the art scene maybe, but yeah. not so much in the acting scene. Yeah. So what have you learned through the whole experience of being on set, you know, and portraying a character? Um, I learned it's always important just to, you know, keep your mood up around set, just keep everybody positive because it keeps everybody, their performances get better if they're happier, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, uh, on set I just learned to always be calm, be confident, and uh, just take it from there, learn your lines. No. Wow, so <laughs> who knows, but I see you did bring a snack. So I did, thank you. yes. And what is it? It's popcorn, <laughs> uh, classic oh. movie snack, popcorn, you know, simple. In Relatively bag. healthy too, yeah. so. Relatively healthy, popcorn in a bag. Now you sit back and enjoy episode one of Jenny and Jeff. <laughs> We're just friends. Nothing more, definitely nothing less. You don't know why he asked to meet. Don't make a big deal out of it. So you're seeing Jenny again? Yeah, yes. So you want her, right? I mean, this is the third time you've blown me off for her. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, dude. Uh, I'm gonna ask her how she feels, and you know, if all goes well, I'll probably ask her out too. That's great. I'm sure she'll say yes. It's been years of this same conversation to yourself. Good luck, man. Yeah, I'll see, see you later. If you're not going to have it with the one person you should have it with, don't have it at all. He is your friend, your good friend, and you, you are a coward. Hey, hope I don't keep you waiting too long. I was just at Lyric. Oh, I haven't been waiting too long. Do you want a coffee? Two creams, one sugar, right? Yeah, you know me too well. Thank you. So, this may be kind of random, but, um, do you like anybody? What? Don't say a word. We're just friends. You can't risk losing that. Oh, Earth to Jenny. Um, sorry, did he say something? Yeah, I asked if you're interested in someone, because I think you are. Uh, what? How can you tell? I mean, yeah, I am, but I'll get over it. Who is it? We never get to talk about this stuff. For good reason. It's embarrassing. Okay, it's you. I'm interested in you, I like you, okay? But I'll get over it. It'll be like this never happened, like that time you tried to start a boy band. Never gonna live that down, am I? So, you like me, and you're gonna get over me before even telling me? Why? Can we just pretend this never happened? You don't get it. I like you, Jenny. Excuse me? Can I pick you up tomorrow at seven? Um, no, I'm confused. What's happening right now? Well, you said you liked me. And I said I liked you, so now I'm asking you out on a date. A real date, not a hangout like usual. So what do you say? Me and you tomorrow at 7? Uh, yeah. It's a date.
He just left? He just took his coffee and he ran? He didn't spend time like you guys planned? I guess so, yeah. He's a weird guy, I like that. He's not just weird, he's rude too. I mean, does he think it's mysterious? Does he think it's sexy? Like, what an ass. I know you're not his biggest fan, but you guys did get along once upon a time. We still get along. I just don't like how it took him this long to ask you out. I mean, it's been years. You've waited around once he was with other people. It was one person, I didn't wait around. Right, like you think you're just gonna wait for your perfect match when he can date others? Like he's talked with other girls, but Steph is the one person that he dated. No, I didn't wait around, nobody was interested, and those other girls don't count. Uh, but they still got you upset. Jeff's just lucky that he didn't manage to move on when Steph entered the scene. I know, right? Just when I got up enough courage to tell him I like him, he tells me he's been talking to this girl that he met at Rick's party. This sucks! And you know what's the worst part? He's really excited about it because he texts all day. This is new. <laughs> like, I don't text him all day, every day. <laughs> sure, I'm not new, but I've been right in front of him the whole time. You should have texted him. I tried to move on. I know. But you didn't. But that's okay. But you like him so much and we don't even know where he stands. He sounded like an arrogant jerk when he asked you out. I just don't get his angle. Like this is the same guy that did all these cute things when you guys were like just friends. He did, didn't he? But we managed to get her home in one piece and <laughs> we'll see if she remembers her bachelorette party. How was Ty's surprise party? It was okay, you didn't miss too much. But I do have a surprise for you. I figured that even if you missed out on the party, you shouldn't have to miss out on the best part. <laughs> the food was the best part? I snacked on these all night. You have to try them. Uh, Jeff. I'm allergic to cherries. Oh, okay. Um... Ow! Stop moving! Okay, I know that you know the statement's a lie, but don't come crying to me once things go poorly. My shoulder's still drenched from the last time you cried about Jeff. Whatever. I'll be at a thousand. <sighs> I don't think he likes me. You're an idiot. I'm 1,000% sure that he does. And even Gary knows. And he just picked up on it. You gotta trust Gary. I don't think he likes me. Realistically, if you guys weren't friends, he would have asked you out already. Think about it. If he didn't know you, he would have made a move already. I guess so, yeah. Hey, Jeff. It's my friend Gary. Hey, Gary. Jeff, nice to meet you. You guys can, uh, sit wherever. It makes me nervous. I can tell. Tell what? That I like him? He definitely likes you. How can you tell? Do you, can you tell I like him? Shut up, Ginny. He moves on. Hello? I heard the Jenny. Oh, hi.
Ooh, Evan, a little bit of suspense at the end of episode one of Jenny and Jeff. Once again, it's Evan Martin here. Uh, okay, so you and Jenny start off as friends, correct? We start off as friends. You know, you can kind of tell there's a little bit of a crush between the two for a little while. Um, but they're both kind of seeing other people, dating other people, and there's never really the right time between oh, the two of them. It's yes. But the plot will thicken, the story will go on, it right? It definitely does. Yes, yes, in episode two and the final episode, episode three, which you will see in conclusion, all these separate episodes right here in Snack and a Movie. I want to conclude, though, congratulations. You just won an award, too. Yes, we did. We won um, several of them. Uh, I personally won a acting award in uh, the Rome Wine Festival. Uh, recently, and we won the Rising Star Award in Vancouver at the Canadian International Film Festival. Wow, so actual real stars right here in Winnipeg. Well, congratulations, Thank Evan. You. Thank you for bringing the popcorn, and uh, we will see you next time right here on Snack and a Movie.